Hi, I'm Rupert Cooper, owner of Phillyway Cookery School down here in Cornwall, and it's lovely to be here in the Cornish Fishmonger's Kitchen. Today we're going to show a few dishes, and one of my favourites is Gurnard Tacos. Gurnard, really sustainable fish um, and completely underutilised, and this is one way of doing it and for the whole family to enjoy. Let me run through the ingredients you're going to need. Obviously, your Gurnard, you're going to need it um, filleted and skinless, corn on the cob, coriander, flat leaf parsley, some spring onions, some white cabbage tomatoes, all-purpose seasoning, limes, sour cream, tortillas, red onion, garlic, chilli, vinegar and some sugar. So let's get cooking. First of all we need to brown off our sweet corn. So we're going to do like a charred sweet corn salsa with tomatoes, lime and red onion. So to begin with you're going to get your pan on, nice and hot and we're going to really burn up these um, corn. So cut them in half and all you're going to do is run your knife down the edge and just take off the outer kernels, okay? Because there's loads of starch in them and lots of natural sweetness, they're gonna get a wicked color on. If it's a little bit warmer, you can obviously do this on the barbecue, just char them all up and then cut them afterwards. But because we're doing it in a pan, bigger surface area, they'll cook nice and quickly. So don't need any oil in the pan, we just wanna go straight in and then we can just leave it because we want to get that nice burn marks. So while that's getting nice and toasted, we're going to prep our base for the salsa. So we've got red onions and some garlic. You could probably use shallot. I'd probably avoid using um, brown onions or white onions. So finely diced. Nice and small because we don't want that big harsh bitterness. We're going to gently pickle them at the beginning as well with some lime juice. You could use red wine vinegar as well if you haven't got any lime. But it just takes away that harshness of the onion and the garlic and it almost cooks it as well. So finally, diced onion and then our garlic. Don't worry about the sweet corn, as I said, we want it to get loads of colour on. We're only knife through there, lovely stuff. Just check on these. Lovely, we can see it's getting lots of colour on the individual kernels. So that can get into a bowl and then straight over the top of that we're going to go lime zest and lime juice and a bit of seasoning. The seasoning is going to help grow up the moisture as well from the onions and garlic. Don't be afraid with your salsa, we can punch it with a lot of flavour and then juice of all of it. If you want to sweeten it up, you can add some sugar or even honey. But I think for the Gurnard tacos, we well, nice and sour and acidic. Lovely. So we just put it to the side with a bit of seasoning on. Check on our sweet corn. Cool, so the sweet corn is getting loads of colour on now. You can take it pretty much as far as you want. Obviously it's going to be a bit more bitter if you go for loads of colour. That would be a nice contrast to our tomatoes and onions as well. Lovely. So happy with that. That can go now go on top of my onion and garlic mix with my lime. And beauty is it's pretty much a one pound dish. So I can just take that off the heat. And we're going to reuse that for our Gurnard as well. Because I've just got some plain flour tortillas, I'm going to put them in the oven just to get a bit of crispiness and get them firmed up. You could put them under the grill or even dry fry them as well. And then into the oven. Ideal. We're going to do a little pickled cabbage now. Again, it's all for tacos. I think the more variety, the more texture, the more flavour types you can get, the better. So for the pickled cabbage, White cabbage ideally, or you could use Savoy, or even a sweetheart cabbage. A bit of sugar, cumin seeds, salt, and our cider vinegar, or white wine vinegar as well. But the main thing is, you want to get nice fine bits of cabbage. If you've got a food processor, you could put it through that as well. And this is a real quick pickle. If you wanted to do this the day before, you could do. So that goes into a bowl. And then my caster sugar, nice 
nice generous amount of salt because we're pickling. Cumin seeds and some cider vinegar. Just to dress over. You make loads of it and just put it in the fridge and you can come back to it whenever you want. Put that to the side, we don't need that. It's another job off our list. So for the gurnard, it's come skinless, but there are some a few bones in the middle of it. So round about here, where it's this, this V here, and it kind of meets together the two fillets, we're gonna just take those out. But it's skinless and it's not much work at all. So just run your knife down one side of that middle line, and then you can feel for the other ones, and we're just gonna trim them out. It's a little bit of wastage, but nothing. It'll go too far. Again, same principle. Find those middle pin bones and just run your knife down one side. So you've got a big fillet there. And then find them and just trim them off. Lovely. Again, I'd probably go one fillet per person. Gurnard, it can take lots of flavour. So it's a nice muscular fish and so it can take lots of flavour with our spices and with our salsas. Other fish you could do this with is, obviously you've got mackerel. Anything I always said is meaty and muscular. Mackerel tacos are brilliant. Or hake as well, but it's gotta be meaty. So now, once you've prepped up the fish, we're gonna just cut them into cubes. I'd try to go like centimeter cubes, because we want the fish to cook nice and quickly, nice hot heat. You can do fish tacos with deep fried fish as well, so if you wanted to make a little batter and panne them, by all means you could do, but I just like this. It's nice and clean, and also it's a little bit healthier as well. So this is a perfect midweek dish. Get a mixing bowl. Fish goes in. Touch of salt, not loads. And then I've got my seasoning mix here. I've used like an all-purpose seasoning. Most supermarkets have got them and use as much or as little as you want. There we go, but loads of seasoning onto my ones, perfect. So I've had a quick clean down of the board, my fish is in my bowl, and it's pretty much bringing things together now. So I'm gonna chop up a few tomatoes for my salsa. You don't need to put them in, but I think it's a little bit more freshness, a bit more sweetness. So if you just wanted to have a sweet corn salsa, you could do. I think if you're going bigger tomatoes rather than these cherry ones, try and de-seed them. Chop them into four or five pieces. Another nice one to do is some pineapple salsa as well. Pineapple works really nicely with this dish. So you could do pineapple and sweet corn, or tomato and pineapple. Again, charring that pineapple up is going to give you loads of flavour. So I can go into my salsa bowl. Make sure a little bit of seasoning, tomatoes love salt, salt loves tomatoes, and then my coriander and some flat leaf parsley. Hold back some of the coriander for the final dish as well. So in here I've got rolled up flat leaf parsley and some coriander that I'm just going to finely chop. Run your knife through. Use all the stems as well, coriander stems, loads of flavour in them, same with parsley. As long as, with the parsley, as long as it's not like really thick bottom of the stem, you can use it. And with the coriander, I just take off the very end where it's a little bit dirty, and the rest you can use. Ideal, that goes on top. There we go. A little bit of rapeseed oil or olive oil just to loosen it up. But I want the salsa quite dry so I can spoon it onto my tacos. Right, so now we're pretty much going to cook our, our gurnard. The gurnard will take minutes, okay? Because they're only small pieces and the pans will be nice and hot. Bit of oil. Get your pan nice and hot to begin with. As I said, if you're doing this on the barbecue, I'd probably keep it whole and then cut it afterwards. So once I can see that pan's really hot, gurnard goes in a couple of minutes and then we can take out the pan. I've got some spring onions and a bit more coriander and some fresh chilli to finish as a little garnish. So we can chop those while the pan's coming to the heat. 
stop when you get to the really woody bits of the spring onion. Here we go, and a bit of fresh chilli. See my pan's nice and hot now. So the fish can go straight in. If you're doing loads of fish and you've got a few fillets to do, probably better to do it in batches rather than overcrowd your pan. Because we want that instant colour and heat. They literally need one minute each side. We can see if you get loads of colour on. It's almost like the classic Cajun blackened cod. Mix together our salsa. If you want to do your salsa in advance, I'd always say just layer it up. Don't mix it until you want to serve it. That keeps it much fresher. Lovely. Cool. Fish is done. As you can see, I don't mind serving the fish a little bit under either. I'd much rather do that than have the fish absolutely battered into a million pieces. If it's a little bit pink on the inside, it's much more of a preference. So to build it, a little bit of sour cream, our salsa, and then our fish on top, a bit of garnish. Happy days. You can leave the fish in the pan, it's still cooking, your pan's still really hot. So I always start with a bit of sour cream, or if you want to use mayonnaise, you can do. Bit of that salsa. At home you can obviously put all these things on the table, people dig in, help themselves. Taco table. Get a bit of tomato in there. And then for our fish, a couple of pieces each. Super healthy, sustainable, all the things we like about food. A bit of spring onion. And if you want a bit more texture, I sometimes do some crumbled up Doritos just on top. A bit more coriander. So a couple of bits of chilli, or even some hot sauce for one of them. And there we go. So we've got sour cream, bit of salsa, spring onion, coriander, and then finally a little bit of pickled cabbage, bit of sweetness, bit of sour. And of course you can put all these ingredients on the table, a bit of a taco table. People can help themselves. And there we have it. Perfect, easy, simple, perfect for any midweek dinner.